one of the challenges when we are into quantitative research methods is to find some statistical formula that can actually capture the complexities of the reality that is tough uh, and to take you through that journey uh, we are going to work together uh, in this psychometrics and structural equation modeling course and then that is going to be our task that how to capture the reality as much as possible through this in this quantitative research uh, that we want to um, work on now modeling reality in in mathematically that is difficult mainly because anything that we measure is going to have some measurement error uh, for example when you are here and you want to examine how this i am and the experience has influenced your let's say, academic or research outcomes how do you do that how do you capture this experience at i am and the bad any method that you use is going to have some error associated with it uh, and that is the nature of social constructs uh, while talking about measurement error uh, suddenly you know i am reminded of my partner she always thinks anything she, that she says or does is perfect has actually no error associated with it the other day i remember her telling me that you don't just don't love me at all how would you know that then she tells me that i just don't see it now of course you do not see love mainly because it's a latent variable it's not measured it, it's not observed directly and that is the complexity of social constructs most of the variables that we are working on those are latent in nature the management field is full of such constructs organizational climate employee engagement employee satisfaction customer satisfaction all of these things are latent in nature you use some indicators to measure them but those are also filled with measurement errors now if you just run some regression models all you are going to do is something that my partner you know she does you ignore measurement error but you shouldn't do that that's not technically sound what you want is to also model those measurement error into your analysis so that is something that we are going to learn how do we do that how do we take measurement error into our account while analyzing the data for that and especially when we are talking about latent variables we would also need to learn something about exploratory factor analysis and confirmatory factor analysis what is factor analysis so basically probably let's say to measure customer satisfaction you have this 50 different items measuring those things now you can't just sum across all these items or you can't just take mean of all these items and then this because it will be again having a lot of measurement error so then how do you make sense of this 50 different items so through factor analysis you extract some common variation across this 50 items and then try to present most important piece of factor so probably that could be you know one factor two factor depends on the factor solution that you have but now what you have done in other words you have reduced the dimensionality out of this 50 items maybe now you are reducing to maybe four or five major factors without losing too much on important information you are trying to retain as much information you can but only useful information not redundant information so through that dimension reduction uh, you now have enough latent variables just to present the the reality without overburdening the reader or or your fellow colleagues with too much of information so you are giving enough information but also you are not losing out the the beauty of the reality so this balance you find through learning uh, exploratory and confirmatory factor analysis now that you have learned how to take measurement error into account how to do factor analysis uh, how to work with latent variables the next challenge would be to in how do we incorporate all of this together now we have probably learned about 
testing hypothesis okay one hypothesis at a, at a time but in reality again you have multiple hypotheses you have competing hypotheses you may have entire theory to test so that is a comprehensive statistical modeling technique that helps you understand this giant web of constructs probably it could include latent variables some measured variables observed variables all of this in one giant model that technique is called a structural equation modeling and here at IIM Ahmedabad that is what we are going to learn um, so buckle up come join us in April beginning from April we are going to start working on structural equation modeling looking forward to seeing you thank you